What's your skincare routine? 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 Oh hey there. Hi, I'm Nan, your friendly neighborhood esthetician. Thanks for joining us again at The Golden Prescription, your source for professional skincare knowledge on YouTube. This has been my most highly requested video, my PM skincare routine. My PM routine isn't perfect, which is okay. I get to use my mistakes in this video to teach you some do's and don'ts of a regimen, along with some of my favorite skincare products. So let's get into it. The very first thing you should always do before washing your face is washing your hands. A lot of bacteria exists on the hands, so you wanna be sure you're not transferring that to your face. The products I'll be using tonight are Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, Dermalogica Special Gel Cleanser, Paula's Choice 2% BHA Skin Perfecting Toner, Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum, and Dermalogica Phyto Replenishing Oil. You'll notice that I don't have a moisturizer. I'll get to that later. For reference, my skin type is normal to dry and moderately acne prone. I double cleanse my skin every night. The first cleanse with Dermalogica Pre-Cleansing Oil. If you're not familiar with cleansing oils, Oil attracts oil, so this method is a gentle way to dissolve surface sebum and pull the congestion from my pores. I like to take my time to slowly and lovingly massage my face. Not only is this warming up my skin and allowing the cleanser to penetrate deeper, but I'm also massaging away the day's tension. Facial muscles hold plenty of stress, especially in the jaw, temples, and forehead. And for me, I regularly get headaches and TMJ. Many of these massage techniques I use in the spa on my clients, so feel free to duplicate them at home for your cleansing routine. I always cleanse using the 60 second rule by massaging my cleanser into the skin for at least 60 seconds. Tonight, I'm cleansing and massaging much longer. I don't always cleanse for this long, but every time I do, I'm grateful. My skin thanks me and I am much more relaxed and prepared for bed. Self-care is a very common goal for many of us in 2019, so don't feel guilty to take this time to prioritize yourself. Shower yourself with TLC in all aspects of your life will respond. When you extend your oil cleanse into a facial massage, you begin to feel little pretty oil plugs come loose from your pores. That's exactly what I was waiting for. I'll cleanse for a little bit longer to release some more oil plugs, then I'll rinse.
Dermalogica Free Cleanse calls for emulsification. Big brand oil cleansers usually contain molecules that bind oil and water for easy rinsing. This is what gives it that milky color. If you're using a pure oil cleanser, you can remove with a clean, warm, damp towel. Neither is better than the other, it's totally up to your preference. Take your time rinsing, you want to make sure all of the cleanser is off. Next step is Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. These Dermalogica products were gifted to me by the company. I tried them and I fell in love. This cleanser is super gentle and has a beautiful slippy texture to it. The lather is what cleanses the skin, so make sure you get your cleanser nice and foamy before you start. The skin on the chest is just like the skin on the face. It's prone to breakouts, oiliness, hyperpigmentation, and aging. Take care of it like you would your face. I also do these cleansing strokes during facials with my clients. This is about how long the cleansing process takes in the spa, too. And be sure you're cleansing for at least 60 seconds. The 60 second rule is a simple and effective way to minimize facial texture and congestion. If you haven't watched yet, the 60 second rule video will be in the description box and suggested at the end of the video. It's a life changing skincare tip. So, I recommend you watch it. Again, I emulsify. Mostly out of habit, but it also helps me wash off the cleanser properly. And provides me with the most thorough cleanse. Now eyebrow flaking is a question I get a lot. It can be a very big problem for many since the hair prevents products from making it to the skin. So if that's you, be sure to cleanse under your eyebrow hair too. I honestly love cleansing when I'm not in a rush. It's so therapeutic to take time with myself I really encourage slowing down and being more mindful during your nighttime routine. Now time to rinse. You do want to make sure you don't have any remaining cleanser left on the face, so take your time with this part too. 
I pat my face dry. Products penetrate best on damp skin, so be sure to start applying ASAP. You can even allow the skin to air dry for 10 seconds or so. My preference really just depends on the day. My first step immediately after cleansing is always to tone. I'm using Polish Toys 2% Skin Perfecting Toner. Toners have many different purposes. Some rehydrate, some cleanse, but this toner rehydrates and prevents breakouts for me. With 2% salicylic acid, it's in a gentle formula combined with green tea extracts and glycerin. So this toner is perfect for treating my dry but moderately acne prone skin. Again, treat your chest like you would your face. The next product is one of my favorite of all time, Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. If you follow me on Twitter, I talk about this product all of the time because it's so perfect. Serums are to be applied to the fingertips, not the palms of the hands. It wastes too much product. Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow is a resurfacing serum of 14% lactic acid and flower extracts and 1% BHA added to the formula with aniche honey and hyaluronic acid. The honey and hyaluronic acid are humectants that add a perfect amount of calming and hydration to offset the potential irritation from such a high percentage of exfoliating acids. The serum works wonders and treats my hyperpigmentation and even texture. For the majority of people, pairing these two products together will be way too harsh for the skin. Exfoliating acids are something you need to make sure your skin is accustomed to before delving so deeply into. As an esthetician, I've done a lot of crazy things to my face, so this combination is safe for me. Okay, so this is where I made a mistake. I'm applying Dermalogica's Fight Over Replenishing Oil without a moisturizer underneath it because I forgot it at the spa. Don't ever do this. Because both my toners and serums contain hydrators and humectants, and my skin is mostly normal, I was able to get away with forgetting my moisturizer, but I don't recommend it. My typical moisturizer is PCA Skin Clear Skin, formulated with 4% niacinamide to help reduce breakouts and hyperpigmentation. It's a very lightweight formula. I also could have applied a hydrating step after my BHE toner and before the serum like Neod's MMHC2 Hyaluronic Acid Serum, but I ran out and it hadn't come in the mail yet. I also apply the replenishing oil to my neck and chest and with massage strokes, as I hold much of my tension and stress in my neck too. And that's it. That's the end of my nighttime cleansing routine. Be sure to subscribe down below for more professional skincare information and follow my social media accounts, LA Beautyologist, on both Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys all for watching. If you have any questions about my routine or the products that I used, be sure to leave those comments in the comment box. If you have any other video suggestions, you can leave those in the comment box too. Thank you all for watching and remember, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. Mwah.